While you were away, your Jomsvikingar helped to serve other Jarls. Here is the tribute they earned. All right, bring out my lieutenant. I must take my leave. So long. Let us join battle together and reap glory's bounty. There is always need for raiders. My chance will come. Come! A little dice never cost. I do miss the rattling of luck bones. Yes, or luck. Join me? Maybe later. The dice will not roll themselves, you know. Always nice to see a friendly face. So if you see any about, send them my way. What do you have today? Have you got a contract for me? My agents are not meant to undertake these tasks. Remember, this person needs to be dead dead, not dead adjacent. Fully dead. Monsters, they say. Terrible creatures. Go get rid of the beasts. I do it myself, but so I'm off. You go with your gods. Beggar is done, Tarpen, and our feasting table will be warmer for it. Eivor, that is kind of you. I hope one day I can repay you. You are among friends here. There is no need. No need, but a desire, an earnest one. I remember the good things people do for me, to warm my heart in times when, when kindnesses are few and far between. There was one more thing, though, if you had a moment. A grain merchant has set up downriver. I want to bring a half dozen bags home, but I would need an extra pair of hands. I can lend a hand. That's a relief. I did not fancy asking Holger. Tarben, what brought you to our clan? Your reputation. Heard folk say a band of hard-drinking, battle-scarred warriors had washed up on shore. Said you had settled in the center of Mercia, taking in whatever floatsam, jetsam, and jumble of misfits came to your docks. And this appealed to you? More than anything. Always been a bit of a drifter. The thought of settling in a rowdy camp felt like a good balance. And being a baker, I knew my services would not be sniffed at.
Show me what lies ahead. You have the look of someone who swings an axe. <laughs> I do hear that a lot. But baking is your only craft, is that right? I have always enjoyed it. And I have always been good at it. But when I'm not able to find such work, I take odd jobs where I can. So long as I can work with my hands. Well, we have that in common. A question, Eivor. You're a warrior. A fighter. That much I know. But if you could stop fighting, what would you do? You ask the wrong question. I can stop fighting. But to do so would be to deny the essence of who I am. I think you mean, if I had to stop fighting, what would I become? No, you've given me the answer I wanted. It's good you found what calls you. A rare and happy thing. Yes, yes, I see you both. What can I...? It's you. Well, what are you doing in Mercia? Collecting grain. Thirty silvers worth, if you can spare it. I do have the coin. Right. Well... Take what you need and get going. That should cover it. Thank you kindly. Of course. And you, uh... You take good care of yourself. Yeah? Is that your usual vendor? He seemed a little surprised to see you. Did he? Well, could be he knows somebody who looks like me. There's no shortage of big bearded men around here, yeah? I suppose not. About your question earlier, what would I do if I weren't a warrior? I would ask the same of you. Is baking bread your greatest wish? Is there something wrong with wanting to bake bread? The Romans baked bread. The Egyptians baked bread. It is a fine trait. But is it your calling? It is my calling to feed people, I'd say. To be of service to those I care for. And who care for me. That brings me joy. Put that way, it is a noble pursuit. I don't know that it's noble. It is simply what gets me up in the morning. Gives me purpose for the rest of my day. Need help with your grain? No need, no need. I'll do the rest myself. Bring it in and put it where I like. All right. It was good to speak with you, Turban. A welcome diversion. You too, Eivor. Thank you for your help. Seek the while and play, friend.
What have you got for me today? I think that would be a very good choice. This looks practically made for you. Done shopping for the day? I must be on my... I hope to see you soon. Compare. I think it con- What is happening here? Holger wishes to prove that flighting is a lesser art. I am correcting him. It is unrefined, unpalatable, unpleasant. I could beat you without a lick of practice. That is not so, you thick-headed- <laughs> Eivor, care to judge a flighting? I would happily judge, brothers. Show me what you have. I will begin. <clears throat> There's a skin-deep resemblance twixt Holger and me. For inside, he's just hot air and bad poetry. Well, in all but our talent, we're certainly twins. It should be no surprise to see which of us wins. Not bad. Now hear this. <clears throat> you see, flighting is simple. So hearken to me. Look, anyone can do it. It's so easy. But the true challenge in life is to do something more. Like writing sagas, painting pictures, and... Uh, and, um... Lore. Yes, lore. There. What do you think, Eivor? All this is the clear winner, Hulker. I should have expected no less from you, Eivor. You have no ear for these things. A pity. Thank you, Eivor, for acknowledging the natural order. Oh, look at you, Dewey. Ah, a new letter. A moment. Tekla, you look like you wrestled a bear. Is something wrong? Gods, Eivor, I was robbed on the road between here and Lincoln. By who? Did you get a good look at them? They were Saxons, I know that much. A pack of them lifted four barrels of my ale and all the coin I had on me. The biggest one pulled me off my horse and stuck his mouth in my ear, said, Tell Guthban we expected him home soon. Guthban? That's Battlebone in the Saxon tongue. Are you sure? That's what he said. It's not someone here, is it? Not that I know of. I do not begrudge us taking in orphans, Eivor, but some of these Saxons, we hardly know them. You ought to ask around. A good idea. You take care of yourself. Let me see to this. Thank you, Eivor.
pleasure to see you, Eivor. I want to see the Alliance map. Pythom asked that I travel to London. What do you know of it? A wild city, one that Hafton Ragnarsson tried to claim for himself years ago. But it resists all attempts to be held. Hytham claims the city is overrun by a strange cult, the Order of the Ancients. He asks that I track them down and kill them. Doing so may help the honest people there, and earn us an ally in the process. In a city so chaotic, it is worth a try. Approach by the North Gate and start asking around. I will. Good. I await your return. Octavian. Ah, salve, Eivor. How are you? Well, thank you. A question. Does the name Guthben mean anything to you? Guthben? Hmm. It's not Latin, is it? It is a name, I think. But no face comes to mind. I fear it may be a moniker. A false name. <laughs> so you came to me? Why would you come to me about a false name? Do you think my name is false? No. Is it? I am Octavian. I've always been Octavian. Now, please, Eivor, this is not a good time for me. I am terribly busy. Good day. Salve, Eivor. We have not yet been introduced. I am Octavian Claudius Britannicus, a collector of Roman relics. Quite a name you have. If you are wondering what good I will bring to the settlement, you need only look to the greatest empire the world has ever known. Yes, I've seen their great ruins. Always impressive. But you have not seen them restored to their former glory, and I can help. Of course, I will need a place to store my collection. I'll build you something when I can. Have patience. I'll see you later, friend. Bonum fortunum in your travels, Eivor. Hello. Rowan. Ah, Eivor. How's the day, my friend? I am well, Rowan. I had only a small question. Do you know anyone named Guthben? Guthben? Hmm. Nothing comes to mind. Should I? It is not a question of should. Ah. Is it a horse? Uh, no, it's, um... A lover? No, Rowan, it's... It's no one. You came here to ask me about no one. Thank you for your time. Hi, Eivor. Tarben, do you have a second? I was wondering if... I am Guthben, Eivor. It means battle bow. Not the name of a cheery baker, is it? Not one who bakes bread, no. So, how did you earn this name? Before I came here, I lived another life. A brutal, bloody life. I served with a gang of mercenaries. 
I was their weapon, roaming the wilds of England. Did whatever they asked of me, and all they asked was violence. When I left, I laid this sword on the grass and made a vow. I swore never to spill another drop of blood, to abandon acts of violence, to never kill again. A hard promise for a hard man. It wasn't, not for me. This life here is all I've ever wanted. I've never been more at peace. This is my doing. I brought all this upon you. It is down to me to fix it. Tarbin, by threatening you, they threaten my clan. I cannot allow that. These men are foul, Eivor. You should not have to fight my battles for me. Do you not hear me, Tarbin? If they threaten you, they threaten me. So let us face them, together. Very well. Meet me outside when you're ready. I believe I know where they will be.